Si le soy sincera, eh, lo que se dice miedo, no, tengo un cierto temor porque como quiera que sea entrar en un salón de operaciones conlleva riesgos, que estoy completamente al tanto de, de lo que son. Además que soy una persona 100% sana, saludable y que estoy en las mejores manos que es Michael Merrick Soyer y el Dr. Luke. Today we did a breast augmentation with Samantha. And we're just going to do a few final marks uh, and measurements after I place a little bit of local anesthesia. And I place this not only for pain control after the operation, but also right now it's going to help with uh, hemostasis and when the incision's made it, it bleeds less because of the uh, epinephrine that is mixed with the lidocaine. We use today a uh, inframammary incision and that's to reduce any type of complication uh, associated with infection or caps or contraction. So I've incised through the skin. I can feel the muscle, I can feel the chest wall, the ribs, make sure I'm in the right space. And that helps open up the space where the implant is going to reside. In Samantha's case, uh, we use a 285 uh, cc implant and it's known as Boost, uh, provided by Mentor. And it's a gel implant, it's soft. I always prefer gel implants over the saline implants, namely because that it's better quality. It's more like natural tissue. So I like to use a uh, breast tissue sizer, and this, this helps to simulate the implant and really gives me feedback on the dissection of the uh, implant pocket. So we're gonna fill this up to 285. I like what we see so far. We have a nice uh, aesthetic contour of the chest wall here, going in to the breast fold, and then out around the breast and up to the areola. That contour is important. This is a, a petite patient, and choosing the implant is of critical importance because the implant can't be too wide. And so we, we chose today a, a boost implant that's gonna provide more volume in the upper pole but not be as wide across her chest. And I tell all patients that I'm gonna have multiple size implants uh, at my disposal in the operating room. What we have here are our implants, they're 285. I'm gonna take this implant that goes in the right breast and every implant has a number and it's recorded on which, which side of the patient it's on. And it's gonna go into this funnel. And the funnel is a great device because the funnel can introduce the implant into the body and, and squeeze it right in without uh, much manipulation uh, from my gloves. Both implants look to be appropriately positioned. We can now move forward in closing the incisions. Our incision is incredibly small, only like three centimeters. We're just gonna, uh, after this second, uh, third layer of suture has been placed, uh, all the suture is dissolvable. These little knots can be uh, trimmed at two weeks after surgery. We've done a breast augmentation and uh, taken you through each critical step. I'm very happy with the results today. She's, she's going to be extremely pleased, happy with the size of the implant we chose. Recibir hoy a Samantha, que es su primer seguimiento, 24 horas de cirugía. Estoy loca por verla. Vamos a ver cómo quedó. 